So Marino Torlonia was actually born Marin Torlonias in rural France in 1725. So how did, um, how did Marin get to Rome? Because the priest of this, this church was the grand uncle of Marin. The priest was appointed by a very famous abbot, so Marin became the servant of the abbot. Karen told me a fascinating story about how the abbot had been sentenced to be under house arrest for evidently being a spy. Marin helped mastermind the escape. Brooke Shields has never felt like she belonged to either side of her divided family. When she started this search, she thought her father's side was Italian, but now she's just discovered she may have very strong French roots. She's headed to the village of Augerol in a remote region of central France on the trail of her ancestor, Marino Torlonia. To go from a cloth merchant to a successful banker, I want to know what made him so driven. Where does that come from? Where does it start? I mean, where's the germ of that? What was his childhood like? Where were his parents? Why leave France? I'm hoping that historian Karen Rabiou will be able to tell me if Marino Torlonia was actually born here. And so my question is, did he come from France? Was he born here? Did he just come here? How? I have the pleasure to, <laughs> to show you the, the birth of your ancestor, Marin Torlonia, in France. And uh, I have the pleasure to show the, the document of his birth. And you can read. It was baptism Marin, Marin Torlonias, son of Antoine Torlonias. You're telling me they're French. Yes. <laughs> like French French. French French, <laughs> yes, God. really French. Really French, okay. Yes. Not just in name, but in blood. Yes. Okay. Wow, so he is, he was born here in France. That's amazing. So Marino Torlonia was actually born Marin Torlonias in rural France in 1725. So how did, um, how did Marin get to Rome? because the priest of this, this church was the grand uncle of Marin. The priest was appointed by a very famous abbot, so Marin became the servant of the abbot. Karen told me a fascinating story about how the abbot had been sentenced to be under house arrest for evidently being a spy. Marin helped mastermind the escape they went all through Europe, hiding in various churches and ending up in Rome. That's when Marin changed his name to Marino and basically my Italian heritage now begins in Rome. So let's go back a little bit. His parents stayed here. Yes, we have found the house of the family Torlonias just five kilometers from Angeois and here. in Marat. Yes, yes. You did, you found the house. Yes, <laughs> the house. Okay. The house <laughs> wow. of the family Tolonas. So I think dad would have been very excited about this. He'd be like, you went all the way up there? What'd you do that for? And then, <laughs> and then but he'd love it. He'd love it. Maybe I'll get to tell him one day. <laughs> we are going to where Marin's parents lived. This is the house that he most likely lived with his parents and his siblings. This is it. This is the house that he lived in almost 300 years ago before he left for Italy. It's very simple, humble beginnings, but how enterprising to start here and end up 
arguably one of the most powerful families in Rome. I like that this is where he started, and then when you look at the palace and the museum and how opulent Giovanni made that and how it went, I mean, basically, he came from this. I'm shocked of the French origin of all of this. Maybe it's a long shot, but why would I have decided to study French of all things, you know, at college? And <laughs> so it's kind of exciting to see that there is a connection somewhere between me and that language and my ancestry. I mean, I feel linked to this family and it's, it's a great feeling because I never knew any of it existed.